hi guys it's me again i'm holding in my hand um look at it very well it is called philanthus amaros or enyolobe yoba okay so it's useful for a lot of stuff um but there is one i want to talk about okay now, a lot of herbalists, if you go on YouTube, you know, on the internet, especially the um, traditional herbalists, they use this Philanthus amarus um, as a fertility aid. Okay, so I collaborate a lot with um, traditional herbalists. I have a lot of them that are my friends. So usually when there is a traditional claim for a particular herb, I basically interview different um, herbalists to understand um, the um, uses or rather that particular use for the herb. Okay, because their answers normally give me a lot of insights onto um, that particular use now i'm using this as a reference okay even though i work or i i have uh, traditional uh, healers as friends who i sometimes collaborate with i don't take everything they tell me as gospel truth because i understand how complex herbal medicine is as a matter of fact you see this plant the properties can even vary depending on where you get it from so if you get it from one place it will have a different property if you get it from another place it will have a different property now in terms of the fertility uses some herbalists that i interviewed told me oh they don't use it but there are some that use it and even claim that they um, re record um, successes in treating fertility. The problem with that is the scientific data on this plant for fertility shows that it has mostly anti-fertility effects. It can damage the sp um, sperm cells causing abnormal sperm cells it can prevent implantation interact or interfere with reproductive indices i have done extensive research because i always want to verify i don't use whatever they tell me unless i can back it up scientifically you get so it's important that even though the traditional herbalists have a lot of knowledge on indigenous medicine, sometimes the knowledge they have is not adequate because scientifically they have been disproved. The very thing they are telling you it does has been disproved scientifically with studies. So I decided to, you know, dig further. And I found out that the problem is, number one, the location you get the plant. Number two, the way you prepare it. Number three, the presence of certain uh, phytochemicals, particularly phylantin. Number four, the presence of some estrogenic um, compounds in this plant, in some like if you get it depending on where you get it and even the time you harvest it in the year so i'm going to put in the caption of this video all the scientific um some of the scientific studies that show its anti-fertility effects on both male and female okay so what you do if you are trying to or if you are interested in um, using a particular herb if you want to patronize a herbalist who is not um, learned okay find somebody who is learned who will dig into that 
that that remedy and be able to tell you more about whether what is the chemical makeup of that plant in what situations does it give this effect in what situations does it give that effect otherwise you will just end up on a fruitless journey there is a way you will prepare this you will just be having miscarriages spontaneous miscarriages and you will never carry a pregnancy to term but some people are administering it for fertility you have to be careful okay um, um phytoscience or the science of plants it is too complex as much as the traditional um, um, healers have a lot of knowledge there is still um, need to consult somebody who is well versed in the chemistry of plants before you start using a particular um, remedy so that's my take on this my name is dr olo thank you for listening